Hey everybody, I am here today with Neelan Mora, our VP of Trading Operations at Easy Equities, and we are talking about SA government bonds, specifically that they are now available in your retirement annuity, which is incredible, and we're going to talk about why that is. Now, we launched SA government bonds on our platform just over a year ago, and already we've got thousands and thousands of people investing in these amazing instruments. Um, Neelan, for those of us who don't really understand what an SA government bond is, can you just give us a brief description of what they are? Sure, Connie. Thank you. And thanks for having me. Um, government bonds are essentially debt instruments that are used by governments and corporates as um, loans. They, they raise money through these products. And effectively, what you do is you invest in these bonds. Um, and it, from your side, it should be seen as an investment made into lending the government money to carry out infrastructure spend and the rest of the stuff that they need the fiscal for. Um, and um, yeah, you get repaid in coupons for lending them money. And that the, a coupon is, is essentially what, like an, an, an inst a payment installment? Correct. It's like it's like an uh, like an interest um, distribution, if you like. So every in, in these specific bonds that we have, every six months they they buy annual instruments, so they distribute coupons every six months, and every six months you get a cash flow um, credited to your account, which is the distribution, uh, you know, in lieu of lending lending the government money. Okay. Cool. So now, why is it such a big deal that Easy Equities has got? these bonds in our retirement annuity now. I mean, that's quite a unique thing, right? Yeah, I, look, I think access to government bonds in itself is unique. You know, um, access has historically been limited to high net worth individuals and institutions. So retail investors, um, you know, haven't been able to access direct government, underlying government bonds in the format we have it. They are retail savings bonds, but they're not exactly the same product. Um, our products are you know, directly issued by government and you can buy and sell. There's no restrictions in terms of how long you hold them or there's no lock-in period or any of that. Um, and so that in itself makes it very accessible. You know, historically, these face values of these government bonds are issued at a million. Um, with us, there are no minimums. You could trade 10 rand for bond if you wanted to, or buy or invest in 10 rand for bond if you wanted to, uh, and build that up over time. So that's extremely unique. Okay, fantastic. And uh, I suppose, are there other providers in South Africa that are, are allow you to have bonds in your RA? So allowed, yes, but um, that offer you d direct um, access to them, not to my knowledge, no. So that's also very unique in the fact that, you know, you cut out this whole segment of, uh, of the middleman, if you like, you can buy them directly into your account and, you know, remove layers of fees. And that's what, uh, over time, if you compound those fees, you know, lots of people invest with a 20 or 30 year horizon. When you compound those fees, it makes a big difference in terms of what you get out at the end. Great. And so, Neelan, what are some of the general benefits of investing in government bonds? I mean, what are some of the upsides that that people can can look forward to with these kind of investments? Carly, so they, they're typically three components to portfolio construction, right? And, and, and broadly speaking, they're split out into cash, equities, and fixed income, which incorporates bonds. Um, bonds are considered fixed income because at inception, you actually know what that distribution is gonna be upfront. So you'll have an idea for how much you're, going, you're going to receive every six months and the dates of that. That's uh, predefined. So, um, you know, they're very predictable by that nature. Um, they, holistically speaking, they smoothen out the volatility profile of your portfolio. And if I were to position bonds specifically, if you think that equities are on the volatile spectrum of, uh, you know, of volatility, cash is the least volatile you're going to get, bonds are in the middle. So they offer some volatility, but less volatile than equities and more volatile than cash. Likewise, return expectations are slightly lower than equities, but less volatile and higher than cash. Um, you know, so they, 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 um, they just I suppose they add a layer of risk diversification. Ex exactly portfolio. right. Yeah, they they smoothen out the return profile of your portfolio. You know, um, 
And that's what makes them incredibly act, uh, attractive. So, so typically, as one ages, you know, they 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 say that your exposure levels to equities should be high when you are younger. And and as a quick rule of thumb, a hundred less your age is the percentage that you should invest in in high risk volatile assets like equities. So as you get older, so let's say you're 20 years old, right? Typically, 80% of your investments should be directed towards equity and uh, 80% should be directed towards equity and 20% towards sort of lower stuff, cash and bonds. Um, as you age, that dynamic changes because you need the predictability of income and steady cash flow as you get older. So at 60, it's the other way around. Um, you know, at 60, only 40% should be high risk and 60% should be low risk in equities. And the older you get that. So when you consider the fact that you, you know, investments into an RA is typically for someone north of 55, um, you know, which is a retirement age. And typically most people still work until 60 or 65, um, you know, you, you'll have that predictability and stable income by investing more towards fixed income instruments like bonds. And so that's the part that they play in an investment uh, portfolio. Yeah, I think that sums it up really nicely. So a stable, stable addition to a portfolio that can generate you income and now fits nicely into your retirement annuity. Perfect. 100%. Thank you so much, Neelan. Appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, bye.